Hello and welcome back. I have 10 more vocabulary words for you today. We're starting with the word attitude. And like usual, I will spell the word for you so you can practice some dictation and spelling at home. Attitude. All right. Number one, attitude. A T T I T U D E A T T I T U D E attitude attitude all right attitude it's like the way that you feel while you're doing something the way that you feel your attitude do you have a bad attitude i don't want to do that or a good attitude yeah let's do it i'm excited attitude okay uh, number two, contribute, contribute, C-O-N-T-R-I-B-U-T-E, C-O-N-T-R-I-B-U-T-E, contribute, contribute, all right? Contribute. Contribute is to participate in an action, usually with money or some other donation, or an idea to offer an idea, to participate with an idea. For example, if we are having a conversation, all right, and I'm speaking, and Maria is speaking, Jose is speaking, then Maybe my friend Svetlana, she wants to speak as well. She contributes to the conversation by using her words, by speaking, by participating. She is contributing to the conversation. If you are trying to do a, a fundraiser, maybe you have a special organization, you know, you want to help the people in your community, you can ask people that you know to contribute, to offer money or supplies to the organization that you have. Number three, the word is establish. Establish. E-S-T-A-B-L-I-S-H. E-S-T-A-B-L-I-S-H. Establish. Establish. Establish is connected with the idea of something that is stable. Okay, we can even see here, if I erase some of the words and add an E, add some of the letters and add an E there, stable. Stable, it's not shaking, it's, it's firm, stable, secure. Establish is to make something secure, to have a solid foundation, to be stable. We use this word a lot for even establishing ideas such as um, a state okay you might see some of those hats they sell with the name of a, a state like florida or texas and then it says est established with a year afterwards that's saying that was when that state was created and it was made firm secure solid an idea to continue that that state would continue we use that for schools and buildings as well. This building was created, the foundation was created in this year. That's when it was established. And now this school continues to exist, okay? It is a stable entity in our society for the time being. <laughs> All right, uh, fade, number four, fade, F A. D E F A D E fade fade is when something is gradually changing color not very quickly but gradually so like even here you can see it's going from red to white the words are fading but it's not quick it's not all at one time the sun at night right you have the sun, okay? 
And here, the light begins to fade, okay? It's, it's slowly going away. All of the, the light is slowly disappearing, okay? And it's becoming dark. So you've got the light, and it's slowly, slowly going away, gradually going away, and becomes darker. It fades. It's a slow process of changing color. Maybe you have, you know, a favorite pair of blue jeans, and they're very, very, very blue, a very blue color when you first buy them. But after you wash them a lot and wear them a lot, and maybe they're in the sun, maybe you even wear them to the beach, and they're really absorbing the sun and the salt water, eventually the color will fade unless they're some super blue jeans. If they're just a normal pair of blue jeans, they probably will fade and lose that dark blue color and become a little lighter, become a different color. Okay, number five, identity. I-D-E-N-T-I-T-Y. Identity. I-D-N-T-I-T-Y. Actually, I think it's supposed to be identify. Let me double check this. Mm -hmm. Yes, identify. It's my mistake. So, I D I D E N T I F Y. I D E N T I F Y. Identity is another word. I can give you that as a bonus uh -huh, after identify. But identify is our word for this. Week number five, identify. Identify is to recognize and be able to signal to something, you know, be, to distinguish between something. For example, I, if I look at all of these languages, I could say, ooh, can I identify which one is Spanish? Hmm, bienvenidos. Okay, I identify that that is a Spanish language. I'm able to see and recognize that, that language as separate from these other languages, how it's the way that it's different, okay? Or you can identify with something to say, I, I can see how I am connected with this thing. I identify with it. The, uh, the word identity, the first one I had on here, identity, is, is your mm, concept of yourself, your identity. What is my identity? Am I a teacher? Am I a doctor? How do I think of myself? Okay. Number six, pressure. Pressure. P-R-E-S-S-U-R-E. -S -S -E. Pressure. P-R-E-S-S-U-R-E. -S -S -E. Pressure. Okay? Pressure. It's like this. You're pushing the air. You feel some tension, tightness around something. When you put air in your tires, bicycle tires or your car tires, you are adding pressure. You pump the air into the tire and it was soft and now if it has tension. It's tight, okay? We also can have pressure in our life. When you feel stress, you feel pressure. You feel this tightness in your body or in, around you, in your mind, in your emotions. You feel some tightness, tension, pressure. All right, the next word, number seven, quote. Quote. Q-U-O-T-E. Q-U-O-T-E. Quote. Quote. Quote is to repeat the words of someone exactly the way that they were said. Okay? And in English, we used some special marks to show that we are making a quote. So imagine you walk into the room and say, hello. And my friend says, what did he say? Oh, he said... Hello, I have these quotation marks that show me this is a quote. I am repeating exactly what you said. If you said to me, hello, 
And someone asked, what did he say? Oh, he said, hi, I am not quoting you. I am making a paraphrase, paraphrase. I am saying the idea of what you said, but I'm not repeating your same words. That's not a quote. A quote should be the exact words someone else said, okay? Reputation, number eight, reputation, R-E-P-U-T-A-T-I-O-N, reputation, reputation, R-E-P-U-T-A-T-I-O-N, reputation, reputation is what other people think, their opinion about you or another person or a place, an object, the reputation. You could say, ooh, let's go eat at this sushi restaurant. It has a great reputation. Online, it has five stars, great reviews. It has a very good, excellent, amazing reputation. It's what other people think about that place, okay? Number nine, spare, spare, S-P-A-R-E. Spare. Spare. Spare means extra. If you want to use the word extra, you could use the word spare. Okay? Imagine your friend stays the night at your house and they forgot their toothbrush. And you say, hey, that's okay. I have an extra toothbrush. I have a spare toothbrush. All right? Um, or if your tire explodes on the highway and you say oh it's okay I'm going to change it I have a spare tire I have an extra tire we use this word for a lot of things and the last word number 10 wander wander w a n d e r wander wander okay wander basically means to walk somewhere without a plan. You don't have a goal or a plan. You're just enjoying walking. Maybe you're lost. Maybe you're wandering on purpose. But an example, imagine, you know, I go to China and it's my first time going to China. Imagine I go to Shanghai and I don't know what I want to see. I just want to be there and enjoy walking through the streets in Shanghai. I'm wandering, looking, whoa, wow, oh, yes, wow, great, amazing, I'm wandering. But, real quick, another bonus word here, wander sounds very similar to another word, wonder, all right, so for our vocabulary, we're doing the word wander, wander, which is, again, walking, traveling somewhere without a set plan. You're just enjoying the experience, okay? You're just walking without, without, a, a, uh, without a purpose or destination or goal that you have planned. You're just enjoying walking, looking around, okay? Wonder is to think about something and feel amazed or, or ask yourself, hmm, what is that? It's something mysterious and you're asking yourself about it. I wonder Hmm, I think, I'm thinking about this thing. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. You're thinking. Okay, and usually maybe you feel like a little amazed by something or it's something that's mysterious and you're trying to find an answer. I wonder what the words will be for next week. I wonder what the next vocabulary words will be. All right, well... I hope you enjoyed today's video and that you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Keep practicing. And uh, yeah, peace.